Hi, I'm Neil Toner and I'm a singer and a songwriter and a musician and it's my great privilege to live here in the beautiful surroundings of the Blackstairs Mountains in County Carlow in Ireland. I was a youngster in Harl's Cross in Dublin. One of my first musical experiences was to hear uh, a song on Radio Luxembourg from Elvis Presley and the song was Blue Moon of Kentucky and I was so excited by the sound I could hardly wait to run over to my friend uh, who lived across the road, Fran O'Donnell, to tell him about this. And uh, when Fran <laughs> saw me excitedly arriving at his door saying, wait till you hear what I heard on the radio, on Radio Luxembourg. And he simply said to me, wait till you hear the original. Fran took me into his parents' kitchen and in the kitchen on, on a shelf, there were food implements, cooking implements, and an old dance set record player and some uh, vinyl albums. Fran reached up onto the shelf, took down a vinyl album, removed it very carefully from the sleeve, placed it on the turntable and put the needle in the groove. And the sound that came out just changed my life. And the sound that did come out was from this album. Ever since that fateful day in Harl's Cross in Fran's parents' kitchen, I've been a Monroe fan. In fact, a, a Monroe fanatic. And thankfully, I've got to meet Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys on very many occasions. The first of those was in 1975. Uh, Bill came to Belfast in Northern Ireland uh, to do a show and we travelled up to see him and the band. And I introduced myself to Bill Monroe in the dressing room and he very kindly invited me in to photograph the band while they were warming up for the show. In 1980, I got the chance to travel to Bean Blossom in Indiana to the Bluegrass Festival there. And I uh, was delighted once again to meet Bill Monroe. And uh, I was even more delighted when I realized he remembered me from his visit to Belfast. And once again, I got a, a chance to sit and chat with Bill and the Bluegrass Boys. In 1983, Bill Munro and the Bluegrass Boys came to the southern part of Ireland for the first time to play, uh, to share the bill with Jerry Lee Lewis, none other than the great Jerry Lee, at the Carling Country Music Festival in Cork. And I had the opportunity to interview Bill for RTE Radio 1. The following day, Bill asked me, and this was in his own words, he asked me if we could survey the territory. And territory, or was a little like what you can see in the background here uh, around County Cork and Bill and I spent the day together driving around in the pouring rain he got soaked wet and spent most of the day admiring the livestock the cattle and the horses. In 2005 my wife Myra and I had the opportunity to travel to the USA to the Jerusalem Ridge Bluegrass Festival which is held on an annual basis uh, in near Rosian in Kentucky right by the Monroe home place uh, where they had three or four solid days of bluegrass music with lots of the classic bands. On the Saturday afternoon at Jerusalem Ridge I took a little break from listening to the bands and I walked up towards Jerusalem Ridge itself uh, through the woods there, mixed woods, pines and so on, a little bit like the, the pines you see here behind me. And I had been reading the poetry of W.B. Yeats. He was Ireland's greatest poet, and the Lake Isle of Finish Free in particular, where he describes, uh, Yeats describes the peacefulness of that area uh, with the words, where peace comes dropping slow. And it was the combination of the bluegrass bands in the background and the peacefulness in the woods gave me the inspiration for the chorus to my song. And by the time I got back to the festival site, I, I had the bones of the chorus composed and uh, met my wife there again and recited the, the chorus to her. And uh, that formed the chorus of this song. Now I hear his voice calling from somewhere in the pines and that high lonesome tenor sends a shiver down my spine as I walk the piney woods where peace comes dropping slow all alone with the ancient tones of William Smith Mungo. When I got home to Ireland I struggled with the verses for this song for a number of years I just couldn't seem to get it to sit quite properly 
And then one day I was walking in the woods here on the mountains of uh, the Blackstairs Mountains in County Carlow and the verses slowly came to me and uh, when I got back to my house I had the four verses I put them together with the chorus written in Jerusalem Bridge 3,000 miles away and the two combined gave me William Smith Monroe. That young boy from Kentucky learned tunes from old black men. Sang songs with Birch and Charlie, played guitar with Uncle Pen. Tore up the grand old Opry, and he shook up music row. The cross-eyed boy from Rosine, William Smith Monroe. On their very first audition, before the old Judge Hay. Bill's band showed those Opry folks how they could really play. The stern old judge told Bill if he ever wished to go, he'd have to fire himself from the grand old Opry show. 